being sober is the best gift you can give yourself as a man, right? Being in alignment with your highest self. But let me tell you one thing, man. It never used to be like this, right? In my 20s, I just remember I was consistently pleasure chasing. Just numbing the pain. When things got difficult, went through breakups, I would literally indulge in drugs, right? Anything to just take my mind off the actual issue itself. So instead of diving into the pain itself, I ran away from the pain. And it nearly cost me my life, man. It nearly cost me my life, right? It led me to a spiral that kept going downwards, right? As years progressed in my life, My mental health declined dramatically. I had toxic friends in my life. And just consistently operating through, you know, shame, guilt, resentment, anger over and over again. It got to breaking points, man. Like it literally got to a point where I hated what I saw in the mirror. I was ashamed at what I, I was ashamed at looking at myself in the mirror, right? Not just with the way I looked, but I knew I was cheating life. I knew what I was doing was the easy way out. And every single time I kept avoiding the truth, which was to remove these toxic friends, stay away from the drugs. I would feel that shameful, guilty feeling right inside me because I always wanted to strive. I wanted more out of life, right? I didn't see myself as someone that just would consistently do drugs, right? You never do when you first start you know, with your addictions, you never look at it in the long term, right? We're just looking for that immediate band-aid, right? That instant gratification, that hug, that blanket, right? To feel taken care of in the moment. But what happens is, man, when you keep doing that over and over and over and over again, right? And you just keep operating through shame and guilt over and over again. Just pleasure chasing, pleasure chasing. Life just doesn't fe see, life doesn't feel fun anymore unless you've got drugs in your life, you know, addictions. Completely messed up my dopamine receptors. Always chasing a high. But more or less you know, created bad habits for myself when things would be difficult in life, when I was faced with challenges, when I was having a bad day, I'll just run to the drugs, man. Literally, I would call up the dealer, go to his house, get the stuff and just numb my pain. Wouldn't be able to look my parents in the eye. Wasn't able to hang with the good friends that I had in my life and I was just living a double life man I was literally living a double life and when you do that man when you consistently do that right you spend years on end just pleasure chasing indulging in drugs which I did right for about eight years of my life consistently Right? I'm not saying I took one year off, I mean consistently diving into drugs to numb the pain with a victim mindset, right? You start to really detach from who you're meant to be, right? And you start, you don't even know who you are anymore.
right? Because I always wanted to strive for more. I always wanted more in life, you know? I always saw myself, you know, one day settling down, having a family, running a business. Good friends, a good network of friends, right? That would hold me accountable. But I just kept ignoring it, okay? I kept ignoring that inner voice. And it just becomes a vicious cycle, right? You just consistently are in this cycle. And it just became automatic, right? When you do this over and over and over again, right? It gets to a breaking point where you just don't even want to be here anymore, right? It got to a point where I didn't talk with my parents for years, all right? My relationship with my sister and her kids, it wasn't there, right? I was a very toxic person. And as a result, I just had toxic friends, right? which is self-inflicted, by the way, right? It's... I chose to hang around these friends, right? But I just remember, man, always, that voice would talk to me, man, right? It would talk to me and it would say, what you're doing is wrong, what you're doing is wrong. I could just feel it in my heart, but I just chose to ignore it, right? I chose to ignore it. I was fucking selfish. I was led by my emotions, right? When I was feeling sad, when I was feeling angry, when I had resentment towards someone, when I was blaming people, I had no inner peace, right? I would just run to the drugs. And you know, one thing leads to another, right? So you run to the drugs, the cocaine, the amphetamines, all that, right? I was diving into that. Weed was something that I would just literally have to go to sleep, right? But I was more... I was more into the amphetamines because it took my mind to another planet, right? Whatever problems I had at the time, when I dived into the amphetamines... It would literally numb the pain, right? And it just caused me to drift away further and further from who I needed to become. It was very, very, very dark times, man, I'm telling you right now. Those friends that I was associating with, they're either in prison, right? And some I know in psychiatric wards, right? They're just too far gone. They're hearing voices. And I don't think they'll ever come back, bro. That's why being sober here today on a Sunday morning is the best gift I've given myself. I want you to really, really pay attention, right? Because you might be just more than likely, you know, working Monday to Friday, do a bit of drugs on the weekend or drink.
And right now, it might not feel that bad, right? But I'm telling you, man, when you do this consistently over and over again, right? Because I'm one of those people that I don't just do a little bit, right? I've got a very addictive personality. You might be able to relate as well. I just can't stop sort of thing, right? So when I used to get on the drugs, the amphetamines, be up for days, bro, literally, I'd be up for days, man. Be up for days. Indulging in women as a byproduct of being, you know, on the amphetamines. Being sober was just a long way away, man. I'm so grateful that I'm here to deliver this message, right? Don't take life for granted, man. You might even just be at the start of your addictions right now, right? Get out before it's too late, man. I am so fortunate that I was able to turn my life around, right? As I said, majority of the people that I know that were also indulging in the same drugs as me, that were living, you know, living that life, right? Living that double life, that dark life on the amphetamines. They're either in prison or they're in a psychiatric unit, right? In the grace of God, I managed to change my life completely around, right? <clears throat> and I'm here delivering this message to you, right? You might be thinking, oh, well, look, my addictions are not that bad, right? But that's the problem, bro. You're, you're justifying a reason, right? You're giving the green light to doing these substances, which are making you selfish. There's going to be someone that needs your help one day, right? Someone within your circle, your family, someone you might come across. Do you know how good it feels to be in a space where you can literally help inspire other people to change and become their best versions, right? You're so fortunate to be living in this day and age where self-improvement is literally, literally just one click away, man. When I was in my twenties, we didn't have that self-improvement space, man. I didn't have any role models to say, Hey man, pull yourself out. I've been there, done that. I changed my life. Don't go down that path. Right? So I didn't know I kept pushing my limits, pushing my limits. And it just got to a point, man, where I just didn't want to be here anymore. Okay. And I don't want that for you. So I'm making this video. So wherever you're at in your addiction phase, it's only going to get worse, bro. It's only going to get worse. It doesn't matter even if it's just weed that you're smoking, it's going to get worse for you, right? You're obviously watching this video or you're in the self-improvement space because you want to self-improve, right? When you keep numbing the pain, right, and you just indulge in drugs, which messes with your dopamine receptors, makes you very selfish, right? You're led by your emotions. You start to lose control of life, right? When you keep doing it year after year after year, right? I, fuck, I was smoking weed for such a long time, right? Coupled with amphetamines as well. So I was taking an upper and then a downer to fall asleep, right? Most of you watching, if you lived the life I was living, you'd probably be in a psychiatric unit. I had no self-love, man, literally. I was lost. I needed help, man. 
Please don't take what I'm saying lightly, yeah? You can have everything one minute and then everything can just go, right? When you lose your mental health, when you lose your mind to drugs, it's not a good feeling, bro, okay? I thought in my head when I was younger, I won't get addicted. I'll be able to quit when I when I want to quit. I'll be fine. No, bro, trust me. It's a very, very, very sneaky world, yeah? Drugs are very, very sneaky. It'll rob you of your happiness, bro. It'll rob you from becoming a man on his purpose. It'll rob you from any of your dreams and aspirations. live in an era where self-improvement videos are easily accessible, right? Just trust me when I say this, man. Drugs are not worth it, man. I'm telling you now. It's not worth it. If you're in a position now where you're watching this and you're still indulging in drugs... You're more than likely feeling shameful. You're feeling guilty because you're not, you know, you're not being your highest self, right? You're masking some sort of pain. And when you get sober and you get to clear, you get to think with a clear mind, right? You start enjoying and appreciating life for what it is, right? Because you're not cheating life. You're not taking any... You're not taking the easy way out, right? When problems arise, you end up solving the problems. You don't end up creating problems for yourself. And once you can solve problems for yourself, other people around you that need help, and to this day, those closest around me, they need help. I'm here to help them, bro. I'm in a position where I can fix their problems. I enjoy fixing their problems. I think in my head, how can I serve someone today? How can I help someone today? Literally, when I'm writing my, my gratitude journal, the main thing I write, you know, after saying what I'm grateful for, is serve others today, serve others today, help others today, right? Once I'm operating for my highest self, I can serve others, I can help others. And it doesn't become a chore, bro. You actually love doing it. You love, I love taking, you know, lessening the load and helping someone closest to me that needs help, bro. Don't wait for it to be too late, bro. Don't wait for things, don't wait for your life to be snatched away from you, man. Okay, learn from someone that's done it. Okay, someone that's been through shame and guilt for eight years, even a bit longer. There's another side to life, man. There's another version of you out there. You deserve to be, you know, operating from your highest self, from high frequency. You deserve that, right? There's going to be a time, as I said, people are going to need, people close to you are going to need your help. How can you help them if you're not helping yourself, yeah? Become the best you. I'm telling you one thing, man. I can't get those years back, right? Fair enough. But I'm so grateful that I went through that pain, all right? And that dark side to life. 
and the consistent suffering operating through shame and guilt. I'm happy I went through that because I'm here today to tell you the story and I'm here today to inspire you that you don't need to learn the hard way because you might not be as fortunate as me, bro, to change your life completely around. You don't have to wait for it to get to breaking point in your life, right? Whatever your addiction may be. Every single weekend, I remember waking up feeling like shit, feeling really guilty with no sleep, being up awake from the amphetamines. Just pleasure chasing, bro. Being a selfish motherfucker. And just kept, I just kept consistently kept attracting negativity in my life. And as a result, for making those stupid decisions, why me? Why me, God? Why me? If I only just listened to that inner voice, bro, every time I felt shameful and guilty and regretted, you know, doing the drugs, that regret is that inner voice. I kept ignoring it, bro, and it got to a point where, I just, as I said to you, I want to just end my life, bro. It just felt more peaceful that way. I literally wrote like a suicidal letter, bro, like a note. It got that fucking bad, bro, and it wasn't a joke, bro. I'm telling you now. And once I healed myself, once I fixed myself, I thought, you know what? There's people out there that need my help, bro. Right? There's people out there that need me. So I decided to create a YouTube channel to help those, right? I've lived that life, bro. I actually have. I'm about that life. Okay? I'm about that life, bro. I lived that life for a very, very, very long time. And now that I've healed, and I love self-improvement, I love becoming the best version of myself. I just consistently put myself first. And to all you stupid fucks out there who go, oh, that's selfish. Yeah, I am selfish. Why? so I can operate from my best self, so I can help others around me that are not so fortunate. I can be that role model for others that need my help. I remember that time when I, in my 20s, I had no fucking role models to help me out. I had no advice to be given to me. I literally needed someone to like grab me and go, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Literally, you're gonna fucking ruin your life. I had no one like that, bro. I had no one like that to learn the real fucking hard way, man. And what I'm saying is you don't, right? You don't. You're living in an era where you got access to information. You got access to solve your problems, you know, through YouTube. Learn from people that have been there and done that, bro. Okay? Don't wait for it to be too late. Doesn't matter where, where you're at. You might even be someone that just started maybe indulging in drugs, indulging in your addictions. Just you're at the start. If you fast forward eight years, your mental health, your dopamine receptors be completely messed up, man. Don't wait for it to be too late, bro. Learn from my mistakes, okay? Life is beautiful when you're sober. Trust me. I was always even thinking that, fuck, what would life be like sober, man? What would it be like to actually be present? in a conversation with someone. It's beautiful, bro. The sun's shining outside. Just came back from the gym. Gonna train again later. You know, it's Sunday, bro. Even Saturday night. Went to the gym last night at 8 p.m., bro. Okay, 8 p.m. I went to the gym. Had a crazy session.
and I was literally thinking, I cannot wait to deliver a message tomorrow to those that need me, right? This is why I'm so passionate about these topics, you know, to just when you've been there and done that, bro, and you've changed your life around, this is when the universe says, hey, all right, it's time to go help others, bro. And that's what I'm saying. When you're, when you actually can, when you fix yourself to the best version of yourself, right? Trust me, there's going to be someone that will come in your life that will need your help, bro. And even if there isn't, you could even create your own YouTube channel. And inspire your following, right? But yeah, man, look, stay in alignment with your highest self. Don't take life for granted, okay? Wherever you're at, I understand. Just know there's a better life out there. Drugs are going to rob you of your happiness. You lose your inner peace. You lose control of your life. Your mental health will deteriorate. And it's just not worth it, brother. If there's any advice I'd give to my younger self, it'd be like, stay the fuck away from drugs, bro. And just work on becoming your highest self. And just operate through life, you know, with good frequency. You got one shot at life, man. Don't ruin your mental health. Don't ruin your life, bro. Because sometimes for some people, they don't ever come back, bro. As I said to you, I've got friends in psychiatric units that are hearing voices in their heads, bro. Even just from weed and a bit of prescription pills mixed together. They've got two voices talking the, talking to them in their head. And it's so sad, bro. You don't want to wait for it to be too late, bro. Don't be fucking arrogant. And don't think you're fucking different. I can handle it. Trust me, bro. I thought the same. And it even took me, bro. Okay, so look, I'm going to end this video here. Okay. If you're new to my channel, you know, you resonate with my content, hit the subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. It helps my channel grow. But um, look, going to end it here. Have a beautiful weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.